Hello all. So I came up with video number six of this Android penetration testing series. And in today's video, I will be showing you how you can install two important tools for static and dynamic analysis of any of any of the Android application uh, for Android VAPT. So, and these two tools are uh, ADB and the APK tool. So let's get started. OK, so let's jump into our first tool, which is APK tool. And before jumping into the installation part, I'll tell you uh, what exactly the APK tool is. So it, it, it's a very powerful tool for reverse engineering of any of the Android application. What exactly does it mean? So for any of the APK, it's a it's a kind of zip which is contain all the resources and all the embedded Java code uh, for for any of the Android APK or uh, like the application itself. So APK tool will help to decode that APK extract the file uh, extract the file resources and you can uh, you can do each and every uh, like you can perform each and every actions over there and you can manipulate the code for the same and uh, also this this uh, apk tool will also help you to build the manipulated code uh, apk from from the from the previous version of the apk in order to perform or in order to do the reverse engineering for the same and for the installation part uh, there is a tab called uh, install so i have already opened this and uh, for for windows as we are using windows right now i'll tell you in the later videos like how you can install apk tool and adb driver in the linux operating system so for for uh, installing in in windows you have to download the wrapper script and the apk tool binary file for the java so i have already downloaded it so let me show you the path okay so i have downloaded these two files which you can download from the respective website which i have mentioned uh, in the description so uh, to 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 make a shortcut of this uh, apk command or the apk cli tool you what you have to do is just copy this file path uh, type env in your uh, virtual environment or environment variable in windows and uh, it will open Okay, so click on the environment variable, go to the path and paste your uh, path where you have downloaded your APK binary files and click OK. You will be set. Like uh, now you have to open the terminal uh, and uh, just type in APK tool and you will be able to use the APK command line tool. See, uh, here uh, the, the introduction of this uh, tool is like a tool for reverse engineering or re-engineering the Android APK files with the Smalley version 2.5.2 and uh, BAK Smalley version 2.5.2. So here you can uh, see all the uses of this uh, tool. And uh, like if you want to uh, decode any of the Android APK file, then what you have to do is like APK tool and uh, provide by the D, which stands for decompiling and the uh, APK version of uh, APK version or the APK name of that particular APK which you want to decode and you want to uh, manipulate the code for the same. Okay, so our uh, next tool is ADB driver for an, uh, Android SDK or ADB driver. You have to download or install the uh, SDK platform for Windows and you can download it from the given link in the description. I'll mention it and uh, after installing it, uh, the ADB driver will automatically set to your environment variable file path. So to confirm this, you have to run like the command ADB itself and it will show all the possible uh, parameters which we have to use or which will we use at the time of uh, connecting to your device environment. But first, let me show you uh, like how you can uh, enable the USB debugging mode in the uh, in the in the, uh, the mobile device in order to connect to your uh, windows operating system or any operating system which you are working on so uh, please refer to the uh, video which is linked to this uh, mainframe okay so as you can see here you have to go to the setting part and uh, about your phone section and you have to tap on the seven times on the build number and then go to the settings and then advanced section and you will be able to see the developer option if you go scroll down, uh, you will be seeing the debugging section of the same where you have to enable your debugging uh, mode for the Android device. After enabling the debugging mode of uh, your device, 
what you have to do is just to check like uh, which device is showing in your uh, environment in your local network environment so for that you have to run the like uh, you have to run the command like adb devices and you will be seeing like uh, the ip of the device which is connected in your local environment so you have to copy this uh, ip address followed by the port and uh, run the command like connect and then paste the uh, IP address and uh, followed by the port and it is saying already connected because I have already connected to my uh, Android device shell and to confirm like you are able to connect it to your uh, Android shell or not run the command EDP and shell, and you will be able to uh, get the access of Android shell and after seeing that you will be able to uh, see like uh, who am I which is a shell currently but if i go to the super user and run the command like who am i now i am a root user and if i want to access like a data folder and uh, then again a data folder data so here you can see all the package name of the in installed applications which is installed in my device or the mobile device and uh, let's say uh, i have installed uh, magics or uh, i have installed a uh, application vulnerable application called uh, injured apk or injured android so if i go to uh, okay so bnac injured android uh, package name is present here and if i go to uh, b3nac so here if you can see all the related files are uh, installed or uh, like mentioned in the fi file directory so by this you can access to your uh, android shell to your operating system by the use of uh, adb driver but the only requirement is you have to uh, select or you have to uh, on your debugging option in your uh, android device in order to uh, perform the same operation which i have shown in this video okay so this is it for today and uh, see you on the next chapter of the series bye bye